I just saved you out of captivity out of Egypt. If you don't do what I say to do, like if your mom say, yo, if you don't go to school, right? If you don't get good grades, if you don't take care of my car, if you don't pay my insurance, right? Right? If your girl says, if you don't get me done for my birthday, I'm breaking up with you. God said, yo, I'm going to do something to you if you don't do what I said to do. Right? He said, all these what? Curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee. Right? And overtake thee. Oh, my goodness. That same God that had the power to part the Red Sea said, I'm going to put curses on you. This people right here, if you don't do what I said to do. Get up. Ain't that crazy? You think God could do that? You think that same God with the power to part the Red Sea could put curses on the whole entire people? Bring it out! He probably, he probably got the power to do that, right? Right. Did we listen? That's the problem. Would you listen to a guy like that? It depends on the motive. Huh? I said depends on the motive. Dep the motive is not to get curses. trying to heal our people. Bring it up! You know, the church is not doing this. The church, you go to church, they clap, they dance, and they ask for your money. We don't have money out here. We don't have a, a box for you to drop money in. We can give you the word of God straight from the Bible. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses, you heard the prophet Moses, who took the people across the Red Sea? Bring right? it out. He's speaking to a people. He couldn't be speaking to a land named Israel. He's speaking to a people named Israel, right? And this is the people he's speaking to. You can see the so-called Simeonites, right? Point, point that out, soldier. Where the so-called Simeonites at? Simeon from the Dominicas, right? Right now, you are so-called American black, right? That, your parents are American? I don't know what Dominican means. From the tribe of Judah. Dominican means dog, lo lo loyal dogs of God. Loyal dogs of God. That's what the, Span the Spaniards call your people. Good. And you carry that name on throughout family, year after year, through generation, you carry that name on. Proud. But right now, today, you proudly tell me I'm a Dominican brother. Right. Proudly, without even knowing what it is. We've lost our heritage, we've lost our way. Right. Right. right? So he was speaking to this people. Let's read that again. Start a little. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses spake out. unto this people. So once they crossed that Red Sea, which was a miracle in itself to begin with, imagine crossing the Red Sea, crossing the whole body of water. A lot of us can't even swim. To do what? To observe. Uh -huh. To do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. So you're after somebody crossed the Red Sea for you came out of captivity, he's telling you what to do. Wouldn't you listen to a guy like that? Right? That saved you? Right? He said, if you don't do what I tell you to do, this is what's going to happen. Read. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Uh -huh. That all these curses. What? Curses. What? Curses. Uh -huh. Shall come upon thee right? and overtake thee. So if you don't do what I said to do, I just saved you. Out of captivity, out of Egypt, you don't do what I say to do. Like if your mom say, yo, if you don't go to school, right? If you don't get good grades, if you don't take care of my car, if you don't pay my insurance, right? Right? If your girl says, if you don't get me done for my birthday, I'm breaking up with you. God said, yo, I'm going to do something to you if you don't do what I said to do. Right? He said, all these what? Curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee right? and overtake thee. Oh, my goodness. That same God that had the power to part the Red Sea said, I'm going to put curses on you. This people right here, if you don't do what I said to do. Bring it up. Ain't that crazy? You think God could do that? You think that same God with the power to part the Red Sea could put curses on the whole entire people? Bring it out. He probably, he probably got the power to do that, right? Right. Did we listen? That's the problem. Would you listen to a guy like that? It depends on the motive. Huh? I said depends on the motive. Dep the motive is not to get curses. Right. Nah, you right though. Yeah, th that, that same God who showed you his yeah. power said, I'm gonna do this to you, would you listen? Yeah. And you said it depends on the motive. Would you listen? You listen, right? Would you listen? Right? Sometimes Let's see, depends, huh? I said sometimes it depends. You can't, you can't have somebody demand something to you. And then you you can't have who demand? You cannot. Like right, Jesus. I get what you're saying, but sometimes if someone's telling you something, I said I get what you're saying, but sometimes when something's going down, and like, all right, you're saying, boom, Jesus told you to do this. Uh-huh. And if you don't do it, you get 
to get cursed. Yeah. Not everybody's going to believe that. Not everybody's going to believe that, right? Yeah. Guess what? Some people didn't believe that. But do you realize what was going on in Egypt? Do you, what was the what was the condition of these people in Egypt? Did you know? It's, 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 it's sort of like huh? Locus. Locus, no. That was after they were coming out. But what were they doing before that? How did they live in the, in Egypt? How did see the Bible? They never taught you this in the Bible, right? Get out. So just to, just like you say right now, in this land right here, you having a hard time as a black man. They you you feel like you got to be saved from your, your situation, right? That's the same way these people were living in Egypt. The so-called American blacks, West Indian nation, these were the people that were in Egypt. They just were called something else then. They were called Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim. They were called that. They were living in ridiculously hard conditions in Egypt. Give me this one real quick. All right, my brother. We're talking about your, your community. We're talking about your people. We're talking about your heritage. Listen up, brother, listen up. This is what the people of the Bible were going through in Egypt, right? Why they needed to be saved. Because a lot of times we talk about how Moses parted the Red Sea, took them out of Egypt. But why did they actually leave? What, what was going on over there? You know, how hard was it for them? Why did they need to leave? Why did they need to leave Egypt? Just like, it's sort of similar to what the conditions we're going over right now in America. The things that's going on with us. We about to be forced to take a vaccine that we don't want. Right. We're losing our job. A lot of people are losing their apartments based on this what? This uh, rent moratorium or whatnot. People are losing their apartments. People are losing their health. People are dying every day, right? My so-called young brothers 20 and 21 said they can't even walk the streets without feeling safe. A young man just got shot in the head down the block. Three people killed around the corner. A little 60 year old just gave birth to a baby, no father in sight. Right. These are the things that's going on in our community, brother. Right? We need to be. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. community brother right we need to be saved from these conditions give me exodus one where it says um they were made to serve rigor 13. Well, exodus chapter 1 and verse 13. Uh -huh, read. and the egyptians made the children of israel so the egyptians the people that were their oppressors made these people do what to serve with rigor to serve with rigor they were slaves. Right. They were slaves. They were working hard, getting nowhere, living paycheck to paycheck. Couldn't pay their rent. Couldn't have food on the table. You know some people that are going through that kind of stuff right now, right here in America? You don't know people are living a paycheck to paycheck in America? Do you know people living a paycheck? There's a lot of brothers standing right here living paycheck to paycheck right. in America. Right? Come on now. Yeah. What, they, what were they doing there? To serve with uh -huh. rigor. To serve with rigor. So that was going. That's why they need to be saved. Rigor. And they made their lives bitter. They made with, their lives bitter. What? With what? With hard bondage. What? With what? With hard bondage. Is this hard bondage? Is this hard bondage? Chains on the neck? Bring it out. Right? That's hard bondage. Guess who did that to us? The Egyptians did that to us also. Right. So it's the same thing that went down in America, that's going down in America, that went down in Egypt. And the people on this sign needed to be saved. Right. So when that God of Israel took them, took them across the Red Sea and saved them, he told them, listen, do what I'm saying to do. Right. Do what I'm saying to do. If a man came and took the chains off your neck in slavery, would you not have a, a, a you be indebted to him to do what he said to do? Right? So now let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. Let's go back to Deuteronomy, let's get verse 15 again for the context. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So I saved you out of Egypt. If you don't listen to me, read. To observe to do uh -huh. all his commandments right. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. You no, know, I'm asking you this day. Which I command thee this no, day. Asking. Command thee this day. So 
So it's conditional, bro. I'm telling you to do it. If you don't do it, this is what is gonna happen. Read. That all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee right. and overtake thee. So we gotta believe in the power that this God right here is not just a God of love. Right. He showed you love by saving you out of Egypt, right? But he can also show you misery if right. you don't do what he says to do. Right. Right. Look at some of the curses that came upon you for not following your God. Right. Your God. Your God. The black God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. The God of these people on these signs. This is the curses that came out. Give me uh, verse, you know what I want, verse 14, verse 14. Verse 16. Verse 16, yes. Sir. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Cursed shall I be in the city. Remember, in Egypt, they were made to force with rigor. Guess who built all the pyramids in Egypt that you see? The slaves. I wasn't going to build it, right? If I owned you, I'm not going to build it. The slaves going to build it. You think that was hard work, lugging them, them, um, them bricks all the way up to the top, that's hard work. They were served with rigor. Yeah. That's the same way you see some of these Mexicans today, how they work on these construction sites. That's hard work, bro. Yeah. That's hard work. That's what's going on today. It's the same thing that went down in Egypt. Read that again. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So cursed shall I be in the city, right? Right now we in, what, the, this is Bronx, right? Bronx, Mount Vernon. Any city you go to, have you ever traveled, brother? Have you ever traveled? My brother right here is older. Have you ever traveled? What city you been to? Name some cities you've been to. Uh, been down south. You've been down south. Name, name a city? Buford. Buford where? What's that? North Mississippi? Carolina. North Carolina. Buford, North Carolina. Now tell me about Buford. You got some nice areas of Buford, North Carolina? Yeah, I mean, I've been to both spots. I yeah, you got some nice areas, right? I see how, how how our people live uh -huh. and I see how the whites live. That's what I was getting to, right? They live in, in, they live in there you go. So in, my brother, where you from, brother? You from here? Yeah. All right. In, in, in certain cities where you go, right? There's nice areas and there's not so nice areas, yeah. right? Who lives in the nice areas? Um, the, the people that can afford it. The people that can afford it. Who are those people usually? Usually it's uh, Caucasian people. Usually it's Caucasian people, right? Who lives in the so-called not so nice areas? Us. It's usually us, black, right? Black, 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 Hispanic, black. Native American. The people that you see on this side black. of the sign, the American blacks, West Indians, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, those are people you find in them not so nice areas. Right. Right? Right. right? Even when we get money, what do we try to do? What do we try to do in those no, not so nice areas? When we get a little bit of bread in our pocket. Me personally or I mean most of our most of our people. Uh, they go get a college degree, they go get a doctorate or whatever, and what, what, what will happen to them? I mean, I would hope they try to get out. They, they leave the not so nice areas. So we don't want to be in the not so nice areas. Right? So that's a curse. That's a curse. We don't want to be in a position that we in. We need to be saved from that. They try to save themselves. They go to school, take on all kind of student debt, loans, or whatever, just so they can get out of them not so nice areas. Cause what happens in them not so nice areas? You got drug dealing, you got poverty, you got prostitution, right? right? You got death. Right. You got death in these not so nice areas. Well, you know, well, you know what makes it such a lot of uh, nice area is uh -huh. you know the, the people that make up the community. That's right. Yeah. But guess what? The people that make up the community are these cursed people of God. Read right. that again. Read that again. Right. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the city. That's why these brothers can't walk the streets safely. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall thou be in the field. When you go to your job, I just mentioned living paycheck to paycheck. You can go to your job today, you get employee a month. Next month, you're fired. Next month, you're fired. Right now, you can be employee a month and still get fired for not taking a damn job. Right. That's cursed in the field. Right. There's no job security. Job paycheck to paycheck, no job security. That's a curse that was put on these people. Yo, you have so-called people that live in the nice areas. They take off a month at a time, go on vacation, right, go to their right, summer right. house down in Costa Rica. Right. Go to their summer house down in Puerto Rico. Right? right? They, don't, they come back to a job, their desk is still waiting. Guess what? You have some people that, that look like us cleaning their office while they're gone. Right. They come back to a nice clean office. They don't worry about a damn thing. They bills is paid for the whole month. Right? Read that again. Curse shall thou be in the city. Uh -huh. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall thou be in the field. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission.
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.